Oh, can't believe what a party that was. Oh, hola, for I am the one, the only. I am El Vagabundo, Hobo Dos. And I'm here because we have just witnessed the greatest event of the summer, Trapal Mania. But you bastards at YouTube, you will not trim Senior Obotom's video and allow the masses to watch the greatness of Triple Mania. Boo, YouTube. I digress. I'm here. Wait. Hit my music. I'm here to talk about. I guess, for the second best event of the summer. Summer Slam! C, C, C. So let's see here. Let's start off this card. Um, let's see here. Probably, oh, that's right. You have AJ and Omos are going to take on RK Bro. You know who's winning that match. AJ Salston does not need any title. Omos, he is good without title as AJ's protege. And I need some beverage. And the official beer of El Vagabundo is Modelo Especial. You know what? Oh, where's my list? The list of wrestling has disappeared. But. RK Bro is going to win those belts. I have no idea what's going to be on the pre-show. I don't even know if Senior Hobo Tom will be here. He has to work according to his schedule. <laughs> it's good to be Ijo del Hobo El Vagabundo. Dos. Uh, then we'll have probably Alexa Bliss taking on Eva Marie. I actually just might take a nap through both. Both these, I might take a siesta during both these these next two matches. But you know what? Alexa Bliss wins. She's El Diablo or La Diabla. C C C. And then we're gonna have Drew McIntyre taking on Ginger Mahal. I'm going to take a nap through this match. Hopefully Hobo Tom is still at work during this. Drew McIntyre is going to win. It's easy. For the United States Championship, Sheamus versus Damien. Oh, there's no intercontinental title defense. Ooh, that's weird. But Sheamus is going to take on Damien Priest. Damien Priest kind of needs to win this. So therefore, Damien Priest is going to win. And then, in my... Match of the night, or as I like to say in Spanish, Matcha de la Noche. The Edge versus Seth Rollins. Seth Rollins is going to win. I just want to hear we want Becky Chance. And then we have maybe there are rumors that abound. So you know what? This shall be a bonus. Yeah, if it's not going to be on SmackDown tomorrow night, it'll be on here. Uh, Bianca Belair versus Sasha Banks. Sasha Banks is going to win that belt back. And then we have the Usos taking on the Mysterios. Rey Mysterio y Dominic Mysterio versus J y Jimé Uso. The Usos are going to win. And then what should be a double stone cold lock. But no, I only like to choose one. Uno. No mas. Uh, Bobby Lashley is going to take on 
Goldberg. Goldberg. You know what? No, no, no. Bobby Lashley is going to be victorious. And then, oh, it hurts me to say this name. Therefore, I shall use her proper name and give her all mucho respeto. Nikki Glencross versus Charlotte Flair versus Rhea Ripley. The only thing I want to see in this match is the tatas of either Charlotte Flair or Rhea Ripley. Nikki Crosses, Nikki Glenn Crosses covered up way too much. To appease Charlotte Flair and keep her in things and not and away from Andrade El Irlo. Yes, keep her away from her man. Charlotte Flair is going to win that belt. She's going to stay in WWE for a while. And then in my stone cold lock. The head of the table, El Jefe himself, Roman Reigns, versus You Can't See Me, John Cena. Roman Reigns is going to keep his belt. That's going to be a great match. So those are my El, or Hijo del Hobo, El Vagabundo, Dos is predictions for SummerSlam or C. Uh, Slam the Soul. C. Um, so, yeah. Again, it's just going to be a live watch party. Hopefully, Senior Hobo Tom does not lose it and gets zonked. We shall see what happens. Oh, and look out for future videos. I know Senior Hobo Tom is a very busy man. Muy importante. Well, that's only because he works. Trabajo. Mucho. Y mucho dinero. So, yeah. So look for some more videos coming from him, hopefully soon. You know what? Let's take a Salamante. Let's take a fiesta. Ah, oh, see. It's always good to have a fiesta. Siesta. Ah. The smell. The stench of salsa verde. Street corn. Food of the Plebeians! Oh, don't they know who I am? What is this? Unique beverage. I do not know. Let's see here. Has no nose to it. Has no scent. Hmm. Aha! From what? Latin American. House of ill repute did that come from? I shall speak to one Senor Hobo Tom about the quality of the beverages here. But never mind that. Please have the symphony of my magnum opus permeate. The YouTube land. Yes, for I am the one, the only, I am Dr. Tom, the most civilized person here, obviously by this swill and offensive odors of common street foods. Disgusting. Disgusting! For I enjoy only the finest tuna tartare. Sashimi. Thinly sliced Kobe steak. Oh. Yes, this plebeian. That's only one cent. It's, it's a vagabond has been in this house. A Latin American vagabond. Probably at least two of them. Yes. But no, I'm here 
to impart my wisdom upon you, the masses, for NXT TakeOver this Sunday. Yes! It shall be wonderful and a joyous occasion of the grappling arts. So first, we shall have LA Knight, the champion of millions of dollars. Yes, the million dollar champion himself. LA Knight shall take on Cameron Grimes and at stake the most prestigious of all belts, that of the million dollar championship. And of course, he's facing Cameron Grimes, that self-made millionaire who got lucky with GameStop and Bitcoin, not even a proper stock, such as IBM, Motorola, or even T-Mobile. But no, Bitcoin, some fly-by-night virtual thing, no. Hard currency is always preferred. Gold, silver, coins made of copper. Yes. And of course in his corner, the original <laughs> million dollar man himself, Ted Theodore, I correct myself, Theodore DiBiase. You know what? Unfortunately though, it is time for the tide to turn, and with a manager in his corner, Cameron Grimes shall take that million dollar championship to the moon. Then, oh, this is going to be, oh, also, just to let you plebeians know, this is my stone cold lock. Then we have the man who holds wrestling in prestige. He's a Matt General. He's a field marshal of the ring. Walter takes on Ilya Dragunov. Oh, my chest already hurts. It's not because I have cardiac conditions. It's because... The pectoral muscles shall be turned to hamburger meat. Oh, the brutal, the most brutal of all matches this shall be. And this is going to be my match of the night. And my Marine General, Volta of Imperium, will prevail. Then we have this commoner, Kyle O'Reilly, who dresses like a man you would find in one of these antiquated indoor malls, shopping at stores like Hot Topic and FYE, and eating the disgusting swill of a food court. Ugh. Taking on Adam Cole, Bay Bay, boom, yes. Unfortunately, because of the contract shenanigans that Adam Cole has been forced to endure by management and just not realizing that one of their finer talents could be leaving possibly. Kyle O'Reilly wins in the triple threat two out of three falls match. It's a wrestling match, a no holds barred match, and then, if need be, the dreaded structure of the steel cage for just like in Thunderdome, two men enter, only one man will leave. Then we have the woman's champion. Oh. 
Dakota Kai, who recently, as you shall see one of these days from Hobo Tom's video collection, hopefully, unless he gets banned for life, <laughs> which I don't know how he hasn't gotten banned for life yet. But yes, Dakota Kai did the job to Aaliyah. Takes on Raquel Gonzalez. How could someone who loses to the peasantry of NXT possibly be the next NXT Women's Champion? No, no, no. This is all rubbish. Raquel Gonzalez retains her championship belt. And even though she is the right hand of destruction, the one who most men fear, Samoa Joe, takes on Karrion Cross. And even though Karrion Cross is now featured on Raw sometimes, defeating the likes of Jeffrey Hardy. Samoa Joe. Oh, so good of a match. You have the cross jacket versus the coquina clutch. Both versions. The dreaded rear naked choke. Depending on how it's applied, either a pure choke, a blood choke, or in a strangulation, cutting off the circulation, a windpipe by crushing it. And forcing your opponent to either pass out or submit and defeat. Oh, so it's horn am I on this. Carrion Cross has the most to gain, the most to lose, but most importantly, he will retain his NXT Championship status. And Samoa Joe. Samoa Joe, you prince among men. This could be interesting, though. So we shall see. And those are my predictions for NXT Takeover. Definitely the most, most presti one of the more prestigious grappling events. Even though it lacks the pageantry, it has the sophistication. And obviously the pedigree, unlike a bunch of second tier Mexican Marvel superheroes and a man in a Hulk suit going at it. Yes. So again, I'd like to bid everyone a fond adieu and have a good night. And do not drink this swill called cerveza. Ugh. Adieu, my friends. Adieu.